hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Fireman Dan. Welcome back to another Space Engineers script tutorial. First off, if you do not know how to use scripts, check the card above. So in this episode, we are going to cover Whip's Turret AI Slaving Script, made by Whiplash. So basically, what this does is this slaves custom-built turrets to the vanilla turrets in game. And it's very easy to use, and I'll have this here just so we can follow along. So what happens is, wherever this shoots, this rotor turret, this custom built rotor turret, shoots as well. Disclaimer, I did not build this turret, I found it on a workshop just to make my life a little easier for recording this episode. Now how does this work? Well first off, you need to load the script into the programmable block, and once again, if you don't know how to do that, check the card that was at the beginning of the video. Now your custom, or excuse me, your vanilla turret, you place one down, and you can't have multiple of them. Just name it designator, as you see right here. And to show you where that's coming from, if you come back into the the workshop, as you see right here, name the tur custom turret is named with designator. Up next, you need your base ro ro rotor here, and that is called azimuth, as you see right here, azimuth. You need your elevation turret, or excuse me, your elevation rotor. Just, that's that right there. And in this case, elevation. And as you see down here in the second picture, you can have two of them. Lastly, you need your weapons. Uh, rocket launcher, gallon gun, modded weapon, whichever it is. As you see right here, you need your weapons. On You need at least something on each elevation rotor. So if you have one, you just need the minimum of one. If you have two, you need one on each each uh, rotor. <clears throat> Excuse me. The camera's not required. That just came with this little uh, blueprint. And once you put all that down, you need to put everything in a group. As you see right here, turret group, and then something. So some examples, turret group one, turret group, which is awesome. Uh, 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 funny whip, I see what you did there. Turret group, Sam is a cow. <laughs> Alright, so, let's come in here. I'm going to grab my designator turret. I'm going to grab all my Gatling guns. I'm going to grab the azimuth rotor, and I'm going to grab the elevation rotor. Let's rename that. There we go. And I'm going to name it, uh, for simplicity's sake, turret group. You know what? I got a better idea. Hey, Whiplash, two of us can pull that game. <laughs> Alright, save. Now, from there, wherever that rotor turret, wherever that designator turret points, that will point and fire. So, if I take control of it, you see it just moving around. Fire. And you can do this for multiple of these, of the point defense turrets, the, the rotor turrets, uh, like all over your ship, and just have one turret uh, aim everything. The only difference, the only catch is right now is if you are controlling them individually, they do not uh, converge. So you, see, you see how they're aiming at two different points. They're hitting the ground at two different points. Whereas if the AI turret does it on its own, they all the rotor turrets will converge. So let's fly up here a little bit and out of the way. And find my target. That ship, that was just shredded, absolutely shredded. And why is that? Well, for one, it's light armor and it's small grid. Two, these Gatling turrets, on the small grid Gatling turrets, they, they deal the same amount of damage as that right there. And it kind of makes sense because if you look at them, the turrets are relatively, like the gun barrels and everything, are relatively the same size. Plus, they use the same amount of ammo. So what this means is, in the space that you have, 
for one Gatling turret, you essentially have, well, in this case, eight. The catch is, this, since this is custom build, you cannot print this with the, the uh, the projectors. Uh, King does not have a lot of support to print, print subgrids with projectors, and if you don't know what a subgrid is, anything that is on the end of a piston, a rotor, uh, a hinge is considered subgrid. So if I were to put the projector block here, this rotor would print, but all of this right here would be a subgrid of this rotor. Then everything like on this rotor head, like the con connector, the guns, all the armor, would be a subgrid of this rotor. So what that means is, if you were doing this in survival mode, you would have to come along and build every single solitary rotor turret that you want on your ship, on your grid, and you would have to do it by hand. If you're doing it in creative world, obviously you can just create a blueprint and paste them down. That is the only downside about rotor turrets. Anyways, if this is Fireman Dan, if you like this little video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, please, and leave a comment below if you have any questions. If you want to see any other scripts, if you want me to go over them, look into them, please go ahead and ask. Fireman Dan, I will see you next time.